What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I'm bringing you a nice little gameplay on Afghan, it's Ground War TDM. Now, I don't win this game, that's the first thing I'm going to say, it's very close at the end, but unfortunately, my team doesn't pull it out. I'm actually playing by myself, which I normally don't do this, and I've been playing a, Modern War a lot of Modern Warfare 2 lately, but uh, before I get onto the topic of this video, I think I've been just a lazy player, and in this game, I'm going to point out some key points where I think... I'm actually starting to understand this game more, and it's not like, I don't know, something about, I'm, you know, I think there's, you can be a lazy player, and I think that's what I kind of, I tend to slump into this laziness of just running around, oh, that guy killed me, let me go get revenge on him because he's an asshole, you know, just a lot of stupid, stupid decisions are made, and that's what makes kind of a newbie slash bad player or just a 1KD average player is the decisions you make. And I think in this gameplay, I really kind of demonstrate making better decisions, at least better to my standards. I come out with a 21 and 7 KD. It's, it's a 3 KD. So, anyways, just wanted to give you that kind of preface before the game starts. Also, I go on a really bad death streak. I die like six times in a row, but like three of the deaths are complete bullshit due to the fact that it's Modern Warfare 2. But uh, anyways, guys, so on to the topic. So uh, strike packages in Modern Warfare 3. So the game is coming out in two days. Actually, it's like one day and seven hours. I am so pumped, uh, of course, from when I'm recording this, but I am so pumped for this game. I, I, it feels like it's Modern Warfare 2 all over again coming out. I was just uh, I was just sweating until I got that game into my hands and playing the game. But now we have support. We have uh, strike packages and kind of... The the thinking I had until probably a day ago, I was going to be like, yeah, I'm going to be this most boss objective player ever, you know, and uh, that was kind of my mindset, and now I'm sure in Modern Warfare 3, I'm sure you'll be able to play game modes like Domination or TDM with a party. You couldn't do that in Modern Warfare 2 for God's, God knows what kind of reason. I don't even know. Actually, you could play with a party, but you couldn't play, play it in party chat for some strange reason. But anyways, I was going into Modern Warfare 2 like, hey, I'm going to be rolling support strike package. I'm going to be getting all of those kill streaks. I mean, you know, point streaks. And, you know, I can die as much as I want. And I can just run to the enemy and blah, blah, blah. And from what I've heard from many commentators, this game, Modern Warfare 3, is going to be a lot more run and gun. And... That actually made me believe that, hey, maybe it's going to be more friendly to me because I believe I am a strong run and gunner. I think I, most of the times, my gunfights that I, look at that, look at that aim right there. Um, I mean, sorry, look at that accuracy. <laughs> uh, yeah, most of the gunfights that I lose are from people that were prepared for me. You know, they were prepared. They were sitting somewhere aiming down sights, you know, ready to kill me. That probably accounts for at least half of my deaths. And I think that a run-and-gun kind of game would actually, it would help me out. Now, I feel like I'm maybe selling myself short, or I was selling myself short, being like, oh, you know, I'm going to fall back on this uh, support strike package. Now, um, I don't want to think I like that, but uh, that's kind of that's kind of the, my mindset a little bit uh, lately. But this kind of commentary spawns from what X-Jaws and some other people have said about Modern Warfare 3. And that, like, they say, or T-Mart and X-Jaws have both said that they do not like the support strike package because it benefits bad players. Now, I strongly disagree with those two people on that precise thing. I don't have the game in my hands yet, so I can't tell you from hands-on experience, but honestly... Okay, so right here, look at this. This is a bad decision. Running through there, and uh, I, knew I, I knew there was a guy over there, I knew there was someone, and then I get Pred Missile twice. Basically, this is where my death streak is, but... Um, I applaud Infinity Ward for trying to um, reward our objective players. That's what they're trying to do in Modern Warfare 3. They're trying to award objective, hard-working players that um, try to win the game instead of try to get that amazing, crazy, off-the-wall, badass KD. Now, I will say, most of the time in objective modes, I'll be running support. But, of course, you know, TDM, other kill-based game modes like Kill Confirmed, I think I'll 100% be running um, Assault, and those are some cool kill streaks, and I can't wait. But anyways, guys, uh, please let me know in the comments below what you think about the support strike package and how it's going to turn out. If you don't know already, let me put this in here real fast. 
uh, support strike package, when you die, your point streak does not reset. That means you can die over and over, get 18 kills in a game, maybe die 20 times, and you'll still get that juggernaut kill, uh, point streak at 18. But anyways, as you can tell, it's a, uh, it was a close game, and I had basically no good teammates. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary, and I will talk to you later. Peace. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please remember to click that like button, it would really help me out. And also, here are two more videos for you guys to watch on my channel. First off on the left, I call up Walmart and Target to see if they will give me the game early. I offer, you know, some side money, and uh, it's really funny, you should check it out. And on the right, I have my Batman walkthrough Let's Play, it's really cool. And um, in the bottom left, those are the social networking places, if you want to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And also in the bottom right, if you'd like to see more videos from me, click subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Peace.